<laughs> hey Ryan, what is the current American dream? I would think it's to experience as much as possible and that the idea of going to college, working a nine to five and having a family is not as picture perfect as we were fed to believe growing up through elementary school and pre-high school. Well, Travel. Well said. Figuring out a way to make money that again doesn't require you to be in a physical location for eight hours every day or whatever it is uh, to, to be able to work remotely and and travel and see as much as possible and experience as much as possible I think you summarized the millennial um, lifestyle which for some reason people don't really understand I'm not really sure why it's been so hard for people to understand that quality of life and experience is the primary goal yeah um, uh, opposed to and that's not the answer to the question I was looking for but I'll, I'll get to that in a sec but okay we'll try know, the, again the, the previous look the, we're coming in my so on my train of thought of the American dream the previous American dream is home ownership and we're passing all these you know great Na Naperville homes that are you know perfect proof of the idea of what a great home ownership can be all right then my answer to the, what my american dream is is happiness and good health health is the answer i was looking for i think the new american dream that we're moving into and if you go back to the you know to the beginnings of time right obviously the american dream um through the revolutionary war was freedom yeah uh then yeah, we, that's important then we got into you know land ownership i think for you know a while uh safety i think was for a while but i don't know if that's really an american dream safety but uh we definitely have been in i think education has had a generation or three worth of american dream home ownership has been the one that we're coming off of in my opinion and we're moving on to health and life experience quality of life those are all health parameters so i'm going to wing this back to that infrastructure conversation so one of the you know, one of the things that businesses I'm trying to get going uh, with you know some people are fiber optics within retirement homes um, and really there's a, a focus on e-health that when we talk about infrastructure and you, you build roads instead of electricity and internet then you forego the whole e-health concept. In fact, you forego the whole health concept. Uh, you definitely forego the idea that you could work from home. You can't work from home if you don't have electricity and internet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, our small power outages that happened at grandma's house, you know, in the last two weeks, if Debbie were still alive, these would be serious. I mean, they were only a couple of hours long, but they would be really serious, especially if they happened in the middle of the night she was on dialysis right. this is e-health the alternative is she's in a hospital where there is no quality of life and her life expectation drops but being able to have dialysis at home through the night which is just an amazing invention uh depends on electricity right you can't have it go out in the middle of the night right that's a that's an, a trip to the hospital it's a consequence and think of all the other people. I mean, if we'd gotten her, many people are on blood sugar monitors that are tied to the internet. You've got uh, blood pressure, heart rate, uh, all kinds of different monitors that are tied to the internet. They need electricity. They need power, or they need access. You can't you can't do an e-health concept without with, with the current infrastructure. In my my opinion, the current infrastructure is just not there for that sort of thing. All right, I'm done for that. Let's talk about the well, dam. We should do a new video for this. Yeah. And wait. Okay. Also, a part of living remotely for me, like my goal of living remotely, is still to be connected. Electricity still plays a very important part in the idea of traveling and seeing as much as possible, whatever. I still want to be connected, even if I'm alone in the world. Just wanted to add that to it. 
All right. 